During the presentation, you showed us a slide over uh, inequality over time and how it had a trend to increase. Um, do you think that museums in general today, do they help increase or decrease inequality in society? Um, in general, museums help increase inequality because uh, the better off and better educated people have easier access and more, uh, more time and they have the cultural background. So unless we are working to reduce inequality, we're, we're helping support its increase. Uh, you also slow, showed us a, um, a slide where you said that it is difficult often for museum professionals to truly understand the questions or thoughts and ideas that perhaps younger visitors have when they meet, for example, art. Uh, what would you say that how does the internal representation and diversity, what does it mean for being able to reach out to different audiences? Uh, museums, including in Glasgow, are very, have a very undiverse staff. We're not representative of our community, and that's one of the biggest issues we face. That will also take some time to solve, so in the meantime, we need to do research to understand non-expert visitors. Um, we can't rely on our intuitions. You also said that in order to actually make a difference, we have to be ready to be controversial. Do you think that museum staff in general are afraid to do things that might get great friction in society or raise questions? Um, I don't think we want to set out to be controversial but if you engage with important and relevant issues it's almost inevitable that you will be controversial and I think staff are afraid and in some ways they're right to be afraid. We live in a time of polarized debate and with lots of aggressive uh, subgroups out there who can use digital media to attack you so you need to be aware of that and plan for that and make sure you have strong support for the issues you're going to address and that you've thought through all the risks involved. But it is our obligation to address big issues in society. We just need to learn how to do it. And to finish up, do you have from the top of your mind, in your memory, any specific museum experience that means a lot to you and how come? Um, I think my the most... The one that comes to mind immediately was an exhibition in the Museum of, of American History, which was called uh, Field to Factory. It was about African-American migration from the South to big cities like Chicago in the 1920s. And to go from the, f the part of the exhibition set in the, f in the countryside to the city, you, you went into a mock railway station and you had to pass through the doors into the station. And over the doors it said, white and coloured and you had to choose which door to go through. So really strong, simple design to make you re understand how powerful apar American apartheid was. Um, and it struck me as a really strong piece of communication that, that confronted you with this historic injustice. Thank you very much. You're welcome.